Five, a weather station in a remote area is powered by 10 solar panels, which operate independently of each other. The manufacturers state that each solar panel has a probability of failure of 0.085. Now I've taken away that percent because it's incorrect. The question's wrong. Uh, well, the, the solution doesn't match the question, so we're changing the question in any given week. The weather station needs at least six of the solar panels to be working in order to function. A, find the probability that the weather station will not fail in a week. So for 5A, the probability of failure is 0 0.085, which we have from here. Therefore, the probability of not failure is one minus that. So X is distributed binomially. There's 10 solar panels. Uh, at, it says here, the weather station needs at least six of the solar panels to be working in order to function. So that means we need six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. So because this is not fail, the range of X here is uh, greater than or equal to six, less than or equal to 10. All right, and so we have that using the GDC uh, CDF, and we put it in like that. So in the Inspire, we put the 10 comma with this probability here, and then from six to 10, and that would be the answer there, which is zero, point nine 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 two two four two nine seven eight zero one which is zero point nine 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 to three significant figures b the weather station is inspected and any necessary maintenance is carried out every six weeks find the probability that the weather station will still be functioning when inspected well that's the probability though that we found that probability in one week so that's what we have from part a that's a probability of it not failing and, and to fail means that at, we have at least to not fail it needs at least six of them because that they, they need that many to work for it to function so what we found here was this a probability of not failing here and now we want to know the find the probability that weather station will still be functioning when inspected and the inspections carried out every six weeks so if this is the probability of not failing in one week, then the probability of not fall, fail, excuse me, the probability of not failing in six weeks is that number, that probability times itself six times, or to the power of six, and that's 0 0.995354803186, which is 0 0.995 to three centimeter figures. Question six, Alexandre uses his spinning arrow to design another game only if the spinner stops in regions A or C is a prize awarded. If the game is played eight times, find the probability that A, exactly five prizes are awarded. Well, the probability of it landing in A or C is a quarter, because that's a quarter, and an eighth. And a quarter and eighth is three on eight. So the probability of it not landing on A and C is five on eight. And it says here, find the probability that exactly five prizes are awarded. Okay. So for A, X is distributed binomially. It's uh, played eight times. The probability of it landing on A and C, so that's the pri where you get the prize. So it's three on eight is the probability. And that exactly five, so we use PDF and we put a five there. So the GDC is binomial PDF. And the answer is 0 0.10138750763, which is 0 0.101 to three single figures. B, fewer than five prizes are awarded. So X is distributed binomially. Again, it's, eight, it's played eight times. The probability of awarding a prize is three on eight. And it says uh, fewer than five prizes are awarded, so that's X is greater than zero, so that's no prizes, one, two, three, or four, so I've got less than five. Again, maybe I should have written that as less than or equal to four. Be careful when you enter it in the calculator. So in the GDC binomial CDF, you should put in for the Inspire eight, three on eight, remember it's CDF, from zero to four, and on the uh, 84, do this, this, and put this as zero, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to four. And you'll get 0 0.86259096860.9 and that's 0 0.863 to three significant figures. C, five prizes or fewer are awarded. Well, X is distributed binomially. Again, it's eight, uh, played eight times. The probability is three on eight. And it says five prizes or fewer are awarded. So that's X is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to five. 
and that's a GDC binomial CDF again, and we get 0 0.963978469372, which is 0 0.964 to three significant figures. Question seven, Zeke is exploring a biased coin. He tells Francesco that the probability of throwing a head on a coin he has designed is 0 0.964. However, the probability of throwing exactly four heads with this coin in five trials is approximately the same as the probability of the same event, but with a fair coin. Now that's really interesting. Francesco does not believe this is true. Demonstrate that Zeke is correct. But with the bias coin, that's the one that uh, Zeke is exploring, and that's X is distributed binomially. Uh, he says uh, the probability of throwing exactly four heads with this coin in five trials, so it's five trials. His bias coin has that probability of getting a head, and the question was, uh, to get ahead, so that's good. So that's the probability of getting ahead and the probability of getting exactly four heads. So we use GDC binomial PDF. We enter that into the calculator and you get 0 0.15544639, which is 0 0.155 to three single figures. And then what with the fair coin, that would be X is distributed binomially. Again, it's five trials. The probability for a fair coin is 0 0.5. To get four heads, you'd enter this in Again, it's GDC binomial PDF, and you've got 0 0.15625, which is 0 0.156 to three significant figures, and look at that, they are pretty close.